hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be doing three strand braids i'll be using plain water and avocado oil the water acts as a moisturizer so i'm going to rub it in well enough in the hair then i'm going to go ahead with the oil which is a sealant to seal in the moisture from the water you will also rub it in give it a good rub then you'll be good to start so for braiding i'm going to use the u part method of parting the hair and we are going to be doing chunky braid so hope you enjoy the video leave your comments in the comment section and yeah let's start braiding so i'm going to give it a like kind of inspect it to make sure it's clean and neat then for the braids we are going to we are going to be using kinky braids to do this style so first of all we are going to make sure it's two strands of hair then you are going to inter intertwine it into three to make three strands as you can see me doing there you have three strands now then just go ahead interlock your fingers okay you'll see me doing like that again after intertwining you have three strands then just go ahead interlock your fingers in into the braid and just like that you'll achieve that then go ahead tuck in the hair well make sure it's tight enough but not so tight to make it uncomfortable on the scalp or to irritate the scalp then just go ahead apply pressure so that so as to attach the artificial hair to the natural hair and just go ahead braiding as you can see me there ensure it's well stuck to the scalp so that it doesn't fall off easily yeah and just go ahead enjoy your braiding so at first i started doing twists as you can see me there patting the strands into two again then I'll just twist and twist up to the end. So normally as you braid along, the hair is going to tug at the scalp and cause pain. So to avoid that and I don't have clips, you'll see what I'm, I'm going to be doing. I'll use my fingers. They say fake it till you make it. Yeah. So I use my two fingers there to hold the braid so as to avoid that tagging at the scalp then you're just going to continue braiding ensure it's well braided well twisted i mean avoid the flyaways and twist it as as clean as you can possibly get it yeah so that's it and make sure you twist it to the end so yeah i'm going to give you a closer look of what i'm 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 doing So after finishing twisting that strand, you can see it's neat, clean, the part is well done, no stray hairs there. So after that, yeah, the closer look, there it is. The U part method, the inverted U method. So since the nape of the hair was kind of shorter and it's a protective style, I don't want to break any strands of hair. So. As you can see, I'm parting it. I'll be leaving it out. I'll control it later so as to save any hair from breaking. Yeah. So I'm going to take the braids, two strands, one bigger, one smaller, intertwine them. Then you'll get three strands. As, I, as you can see me doing there, it's three now then after getting the three strands you are going to do the magic again using your fingers there it is and that's what you have then you go attach it to the hair the principles remain you take you apply pressure but not so much pressure as you attach the braid to the hair and to the scalp 
make sure it's clean remove any stray hairs from the part as you go along braiding as you go along attaching the hair to the scalp and yeah just continue doing what i'm doing just continue braiding along so if it's twist you are going to separate it into two both the artificial and the natural hair into two strands then you go along twisting but along the way again since it was tiresome we decided to do tattoo tattoo that is the three strand braid So you can see me removing the twist again then patch it into three strands and just continue braiding all along ensure the flyaways are kept at a minimum and the natural hair is well tucked into the artificial hair so as to protect it that that's the essence of this style to protect the natural hair so go ahead continue braiding up to the end make sure you reach up to the very end you don't have to end up with a messy look yeah just follow my secrets and methods and you'll be good to go if you reach to the end and it's a little bit smaller you can just twist it up to the very last bit of the hair so yeah that's what that's how i achieve my look so i'll be doing a fast forward for you guys So guys, that's the finished look. So neat, well done, well arranged. So if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell back button to be notified whenever I upload. Please like, comment, share. Until next time, bye. Bye guys.